If there's something even more exciting than fierce animals, it's their bigger, larger, and meaner ancestors. Saber-toothed tiger. Smilodon, most commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, is one of the most popular prehistoric animals. But what many people don't know about it is that it actually isn't related to the tiger or any other modern cat. It had particularly long upper canine teeth, which is why it's called saber tooth in the first place. Its jaw was bigger than that of most present-day cats, and it was divided into three main species. The Smilodon gracilis, the Smilodon fatalis, and the Smilodon populin. The Smilodon gracilis was the smallest of these, weighing around 55 kilograms, while Smilodon fatalis was somewhere in between with a weight of 160 to 280 kilograms and a height of 100 centimeters. Finally, Smilodon popular was the largest one at 220 to 436 kilograms in weight and 120 centimeters in height. The Smilodon mostly lived in the Americas, specifically North America, although many Smilodon remains were found in South America too. They lived during the Pleistocene era. Dire Wolf The dire wolf is an extinct species of the Canis, which mostly lived in North America and directly competed with the Smilodon fatalis. It lived during the late Pleistocene and early Holocene epochs. Some dire wolf fossils were found in South America, similar to the saber-toothed tiger. They mostly inhabited plains, grasslands, mountains, and the savanna biomes of South America. Dire wolves were extremely potent predators, capable of preying on most mega herbivores, including ground sloths, horses, bison, camels, and mastodons. Similar to today's wolves, they were believed to be pack hunters. The dire wolf was even bigger than the largest modern gray wolf of present time. They stood about 2.6 to 2.8 feet tall, or 80 to 85 centimeters. They weighed about 130 to 150 pounds, at 60 to 68 kilograms. On top of being fierce animals, they were also extremely resilient, which is a big reason why there are fossils of them from Alaska to Peru, and even further down with a few of them having been found in Bolivia. So, which of these incredible prehistoric animals do you think would win? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. We hope you've enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.